Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Real quick one today, sharpening. What is sharp? And you're, you're working in, in your shop during the day, but you don't, you don't want to take time to sharpen your plane. So what we end up doing is pushing the plane edge to its limits and we can't get this wonderful, beautiful, glistening surface. I mean, look at that. If you could only touch that, it's absolutely beautiful. Quarter sawn cherry. So, here's how I touch up my blade during the workday. If you want to time it, you can look at the clock on the video, whatever, whatever you want. And by the way, if you're ever looking for the definitive book on sharpening, get the perfect edge from Ron Hawk. I've got some extra copies if you're interested. So, here we go. You're working along, your blade starts to dull. Here's what you do. You got to have your screwdriver handy. And you have to have your sharpening stones handy. You pop the hood. You take out your blade. Remove the screw, lighten the screw. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to remove it completely. Normally I don't do that, but I want to show you a technique. Remove this completely, set it aside, grab your medium stone. It could be a fine, but it doesn't have to be the extra fine. Some blades you can totally flatten your back, some you can't. There's, there's no arguing about that. We'll get in more depth on that in another video. But here's, here we go. I've got the blade. Put a little fluid on there. I hit the back just a few times. That's it. Done. So I know there's no burr back there. I come up here. A little more fluid. My primary bevel is still visible there. I find it. Okay. Find my primary. I raise it just a hair and I sweep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel for a burr. There. Go back. Remove the burr. Done. That's ready to go back in the plane. How long did that take? Under a minute. If this were a fine smoother, I would switch from the 1000 to my 4000. Just a dab. I, I could do the whole ruler trick again. Come back here. Polish that back. A little bit more, a couple seconds more this time. Because we're working with a finer grit. And mind you, I'm using my fingers here to prevent the blade from moving forward. That done. Come in, find the bevel. Raise it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Burr. Burr is gone. No burr on either side. Sharpening is done. Reset your chip breaker. So I wouldn't have had to take my chip breaker off if I was doing it without the ruler technique. I could just freehand it. And you've seen me do that in the past. Get that set. Tighten your screw. Use your plane adjusting hammer. So that you can see where your edge is. I got that set quite fine. 
a little too fine. That should work. Come back in, and you're back in business. Put the hood back on, close it up. Adjust your depth, adjust your lateral. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can make adjustments on the fly. Back to work. Nothing, advance. See how we get in that accordion? I'm really close now. We've talked about that in some past videos. That works great on difficult to plain woods. I probably could bring it back just a skosh. But that's it. That's sharpening. One, two, three, done. Any questions? Leave them in the comments section. Head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.